What's up, Wayne Baron here with artifacts.net, and as you can see, we are in Autodesk 3ds Max 2014. We're going to be trying to import a Google SketchUp. So what we're going to do is come over here to our file. We're going to open up our import. We're going to navigate to the folder where we have it at. And then we're going to grab a hold of, uh, both of these are the same model, just different versions of the SketchUp. So we're going to grab a hold of the 13. We're going to choose to extract it to here, the same location where we've got our model at. Choose OK. And we get this error. X32 reader terminated unexpected. What the problem is, is that the newer versions of the SketchUp model does not work with 2014. It uh, most likely will work with 2015 of uh, 3ds Max, but not 2014. And so what we do is that, uh, let's come over here, we're gonna exit out of 3ds Max, and we're not gonna save it. This file right here is uh, the SDK for the SketchUp. So what we do is if we come in here, go to Deprecated, and then we go to SKP Reader, and then Binaries, Windows, and you got 64-bit and 86-bit. Since I'm running 64-bit, that's the one that we're going to choose. So we're going to come here, and then we're going to open up the folder. This is where my 3ds Max resides in, which is my E drive. I never install anything inside of C unless it has to be. So we're going to come over here to our SketchUp Reader.dll. We're going to rename it. Just put an underscore at the ending of it. And then we're going to grab a hold of this file, drag, and drop it over. And it's automatically going to add it in there. So now let's come over here. We're going to open up 3ds Max. Okay, now that we got 3ds Max open, let's come over here. We're going to go back to import. We're going to come back to the location where we got our uh, object at. And we're going to grab a hold of it. I'm not going to worry about doing anything. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to get this error. Google SketchUp importer. The error was 193 null. Did some research on it, cannot find absolutely nothing about the Google SketchUp importer inside of 3ds Max throwing this error. So I'm going to click OK, click OK again, then we're going to come over here, we're going to exit out of 3ds Max. Okay, so this file right here will not work, so we're going to delete that file out. Okay, so that's our 64-bit, and we are running 64-bit Windows and 64-bit 3ds Max. However, the 64-bit will not work, so let's grab a hold of our 32-bit, drag and drop it over here, and now let's reopen up 3ds Max. Okay, with it open, let's go ahead and close, come over here, import, go back to the location. I wish it would actually save the places that we browse. That would really help out a lot. And then we're going to come over here, go back into that location, and here. Now we're going to click on OK. This is running the 32-bit DLL, and then we're going to choose Yes here, and voila, it runs, works like a charm. So, I've got the link in the description for you to download the SDK, and then uh, you can download any version, I believe, any version of the SketchUp all the way up to 2015, maybe. You might want to try uh, the other versions, and then if uh, for some reason it does not work for you, then you can always, uh, let's uh, reset. 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 <laughs> Don't save. Do you really want to reset? Yes. You can come over here. You can do import. And then we got the model right here, which you can download that, and that is called the Collado file and so this right here is where I actually downloaded this file from and then you got the Collado file sitting right here and you just come in open it up leave everything default and then come over here click OK and then it'll give you all these warnings and so forth and then just click OK and then it, it will load it. Now, I'm not sure if it loads everything like the um, SketchUp file does, but it does load it. Okay, Wayne Barron, darkfix.net inside of 3ds Max. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.